Why, Joe, what a pleasant surprise. What brings you here at this hour? There's nothing wrong, I hope. Well, that's what I came here to find out. Oh? You want to tell me what this is about? You swore to me there was nothing going on between you and David. Now I know the truth. Now I know what's really going on. Uh, what do you mean, uh, what's going on? You don't have to hide it from me anymore. You're dating him, aren't you? <laughs> me dating David Vickers? I just want to know the truth. Joe, I have already told you. David and I are just friends. That's all. Nothing more. Are you sure? I mean, you two seem really close. Well, of course. Think about it. I mean, he brought forward evidence that, that virtually saved me from death row. And it's only natural that I would be grateful to him. But as for anything romantic between us, there never has been and there never will be. Does that answer your question? Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I guess it does. Are you laughing at me? <laughs> no. I'm just happy that you care enough about all of this that you would come here in the middle of the night to ask me about it. Especially after you told me that you couldn't see me anymore. Well, I, I just... I heard something that got me thinking again, and I had to come here. I had to know the truth. Whoever it was who misled you, and I'm not going to press you on who it was, I owe them a great big grazie. Why? Because it brought you back here. Joe, I care too much about our friendship to have it end so... Abruptly, I couldn't bear the thought of never seeing you again. Is that all I am to you, is just a friend? That is what we both said, isn't it? That we were friends, close, very close friends. Yeah, but is that all we can ever be? feeling like ignoring it. How about you? Join David. Come on, I know you're home. David, huh? Joe, uh, Joe, wait a minute. Joey? You want to tell me what you're doing here in the middle of the night? Well, I... Oh, come on, Uncle David. Don't try to think up another lie. Obviously, you came running over here to tell Dorian about what I know. About your little affair. Joey, I told you... Yeah, I know what you told me. That's the worst part. You lied to me. Joe. How could you lie to me like that? Joe, you're making a big mistake. No, I made a big mistake. I let you play me for a fool. Joe. No. Leave him alone. Listen to me, Dorian. I don't know what you've got going on with Joey, but it's going to stop right now. David? Is that a threat? No, it's a fact. I don't want to see Joey get hurt. Am I making myself clear? You know, I'm really having a hard time believing that in the short amount of time that you have taken to get to know your new family, 
that you have actually taken your faux nephew under your protective wing. This is not about my relationship with Joey. No, it most certainly is not. It's about your relationship with Tina. What are you talking about? Please, you don't care anything about Joe. You're just looking for a way to get back at me because I told you to stay away from Tina. Oh, yeah, right. Yes. Hey, for goodness sake, I still cannot believe for the life of me why you would think it was a really good idea for you and Tina to run away together so that the whole world would then think, my goodness, she couldn't be his sister and he must not be a long lost lord and therefore conclude that I belong back on death row. Oh my God. Everything always winds up being about you, doesn't it? Yes. Because I am trying to protect myself. Do you get that? Protect myself. And you have turned into a loose cannon. No. Doing all sorts of nutty things. For example, coming traipsing over here in the middle of the night. I'm telling you, you are going to do something that is going to spoil it for both of us. Oh, times. get real, Dory. And if anybody's going to blow our cover, it's you. Oh? Yeah, look what you're doing with Joey. For your information, I happen to care about Joey. I care about him very much. No, you don't. What you care about is hurting Vicky. Well, going up against Vicky is a really bad idea. And I'm not going to sit around and watch you try to do it because I've got too much at stake. It's getting late. What's your point? You stay away. From Joey Dorian. Now that is a threat.